Stay tuned for the following special presentation from KOFO, 1220 and 103.7 FM. KOFO, your sports source for East Central Kansas. Now on 103.7 FM, welcomes you to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclones Basketball Pregame Show. Whether it's residential, commercial, or restoration construction you need, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa at 785-229-5651. Now for a preview of this Ottawa Cyclone Basketball broadcast, here's KOFO Sports Director Gary Bateman. And welcome back after a quick quick break from Soto High School. And we have the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show ahead of Ottawa Boys Basketball now as the girls falling 58 to 35 this evening. Ottawa guys coming off a disappointing home opener on Tuesday night as they fell to Stika West 74 to 65. They gave up a total of 11 Check that 12 three pointers in that ball game. And really, once they got down by about seven or nine, they just couldn't crawl back into it. And so they look to get back in their winning ways here tonight against a DeSoto team that comes in at two and two but always plays the Cyclones tough. Take a break, come back with four. This is the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone Pregame Show. On 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KFO. You know Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa as the premier residential and commercial construction company. But did you know they also provide full repair for fire and flood restoration? Here's Bill Crowley, owner of Wise Guys Construction. We offer full turnkey services from cleaning and drying to the repairs of your project. We're an insurance preferred contractor. When disaster strikes, experience matters. When it comes to your residential, commercial, or restoration needs, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa, 785-229-5651. Addiction is a treatable illness, and you don't have to do this alone. My husband said it's just beer. I didn't think anything of it, but he started drinking every night. He started going to work late, stopped spending time with me and the kids. Alcohol became his priority. Are you or a loved one struggling with addiction? We understand how difficult making the decision to enter treatment can be. At Valley Hope, we help families rebuild their lives. There is hope. Valleyhope.org. Sponsored by Valley Hope Association and this station. Here on the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show. Last year, Ottawa won both matchups between these two teams. They won here 45 34 at home. They sneak past DeSoto early in the season 46 44. JV Cyclone boys lost 76 uh, 63 earlier. As I mentioned, Ottawa now 2 and 1 on the season after the loss to Topeka West. They got 32 points from Perry Carroll the other night, 16 from Isaac McCullough. But really appears that they're going to have to get more people involved. They've got other people capable of putting points on the board. And uh, sometimes I think Ottawa relies too much on Carroll and McCullough for the scoring load. And some other people have some ability to get the job done. The other thing Ottawa's got to do a better job of is avoiding double teams. Speak of West, double teams. Uh, McCullough and Carroll, and the Cyclones kind of struggled against that. Also, the Chargers did a really good job moving the basketball around on Tuesday night, so Ottawa's going to need to be a little quicker on the defensive end if they want to pick up a victory here tonight in this Frontier League opener. Take a timeout. Back with more. You're listening to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show here on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Bill Crowley, owner of Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa, on what sets them apart as your trusted source for residential and commercial construction. We're not a handyman service. We're a professional licensed construction company. We're not only licensed in Ottawa. With our license, we can work anywhere. Which means? No matter what the project or where, you get a licensed contractor every time. We've been in business for 13 years. Our experience and customer service are what keeps us in business. Wise Guys Construction, 785-229-5651. Want to go see the Chiefs play at Arrowhead Stadium? How about set in the front row? KOFO and McCoy's Furniture Loft want to send you. All you have to do is stop by Furniture Loft on Market Street in Osage City and register. And you want a friend to be sitting in front row to watch a Chiefs 
Chiefs game. Only one win per person per season. KOF or McCoy's Furniture Loft employees and their households are not eligible to win. No purchase is necessary. The next giveaway will be for the Chiefs game December 25th against the Denver Broncos. We'll announce the winner December 19th on the Brad Howard Early Morning Show. A couple of notes for you. Uh, the Ottawa High School Invitational Wrestling Tournament scheduled for tomorrow has been canceled. Also canceled tonight, Central Heights and Chase County uh, over at uh, Cottonwood Falls. Uh, we have these scores to report to you. Final from Garnett, Anderson County's girls 61, Osawatomi 29. Iola beat Prairie View tonight in girls play 43-28. At the half, West Franklin 17, Osage City 14. And the only score we have on the Paola Spring Hill game was the first quarter score, 16-3. to Other action, Linden at Northern Heights, Burlington at Wellsville, and there's the Zine Valley hosting Hartford here this evening. Cyclones will be in action on Monday night, taking on Lewisburg from the Ottawa High Gymnasium. Free game will get underway for the ladies at around 545. We'll have the action starting at 6 o'clock tip-off. 7.30 for the guys on Monday night, well, not Tuesday, Monday night, and the action right here on KOFO. That'll do it for the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show. We'll take a break and come back with more here from DeSoto High School. You're listening to Ottawa High School Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Thank you for listening to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone Basketball pregame show on KOFO. Tip-off is next. Anyone can call themselves a construction company, slap a sign on the side of their truck, and drive around town looking for work. Is that who you want to hire? No, you're smarter than that. Wise Guys Construction at 108 North Main in Ottawa has been in business for 13 years, building new residential homes, adding additions and finishing basements, solving commercial structure needs for businesses, and repairing damage left behind from fire or water. When it comes to who you hire for residential and commercial construction needs, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction at 785-229-5651. KOFO, your sports source for East Central Kansas, welcomes you to this broadcast of Ottawa Cyclone Basketball on 103.7 FM, 1220, and KOFO.com. Tonight's game is being brought to you by Modern Woodman Agent Dale Pearson, Hale Family Dentistry, Kansas State Bank, Adams and Brothers Heating and Cooling, Ottawa Recreation Commission, and by State Farm Insurance Agent Keith King, Ransom Memorial Hospital, Sutton's Jewelry, Franklin County Chiropractic, Car Star, Messenger's Home Furnishings. Also by Dingle and Sun Mortuary, the Ottawa Herald, Wise Guys Construction, People's Bank. Ottawa Cyclone Basketball is also being brought to you by Ryan Dispro State Farm Insurance, Kramer Pharmacy, Ottawa Chiropractic, Performance Electric, Bones Transportation, and by Lamb Roberts Funeral Home, Dale's Body Shop, the City of Ottawa, Costantino's Price Chopper, Maxwell Chiropractic, Quality Structures Incorporated, and Great Life Golf and Fitness, Advantage Electric, and Remax Connections Agent Neva Smith. Now let's return courtside and once again join KOFO Sports Director Gary Bateman for Ottawa Cyclone Basketball. Welcome back to the Soto as we get set for the boys part of our doubleheader. If you're just joining us, the Ottawa girls dropped to 0-4 with a loss to the Lady Wildcats 58-35 to with Lewisburg on tap for Monday night. Let's take a look at the starting lineups here this evening. First of all, for the Cyclones, Number one, Devion Bethay, a 5'10 junior, averaging seven points a game. Number five, Drew Bones, he's six foot six a senior, averaging five a contest. Number 11, Chris Johnson, a 6'4 junior, averaging four points a game. Number 23, Isaac McCullough, 6'4 and a senior, averaging 25 a game. And number 30, Perry Carroll, a 5'11 senior, he averages 22 a contest. Cyclones are 2-1 and one on the season, coached by Cliff McCullough and assisted by Evan Schaefer, Lake Lasley, and Rob Hedrick. For DeSoto, well, we don't have the DeSoto starters yet, so apologize for that. We will get that here shortly. But the Ottawa starters, again, are Bethe, Bones, Chris Johnson, McCullough, and Carroll. And we'll send it back to the station for a two-minute break. You're listening to Ottawa High School Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM, KOFO. 
Bones Transportation has been a family-owned and operated trucking company in Ottawa for over 50 years and a longtime supporter of Ottawa Cyclone Athletics. They wish the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Bones Transportation in South Ottawa. This is Dr. Adam Maxwell of Maxwell Chiropractic, serving you with chiropractic and wellness care at 225 South Walnut in Ottawa. Call 785-893-8272 for an appointment. As a former cyclone, I wish this year's teams good luck, and I'm proud to be a supporter of Ottawa Cyclone Athletics. Eric Price and his staff at the Lamb Roberts Funeral Homes are proud to sponsor this KOFO sports broadcast and honored to help so many families in the community with compassionate care when it's needed most. Lamb Roberts Funeral Homes. Ottawa, Baldwin City, and Overbrook. People's Bank in Ottawa is proud to support our area sports teams. From People's Bank Field at Ottawa University to our Bucks for Buckets promotion and more, we believe our local sports programs are an investment in our future. Best of luck to all the teams from all of us at People's Bank. Member FDIC. Community journalism is thriving at the Ottawa Herald. Three days a week in print and every day online, the Herald's award-winning staff covers the news that matters to you. Breaking news, sports, events, and so much more, just as the Herald has done for more than 140 years. Call 242-4700 to subscribe today, or find us online at www.ottawaherald.com, on Facebook, or download our app. Kramer Pharmacy, downtown Ottawa, hopes you're enjoying this KOFO sports broadcast and wishes all the area teams good luck this season. Call Kramer Pharmacy today and ask about their convenient MedSync program that allows you to have all your prescriptions filled at the same time each month. Call 242-2055. Hi, I'm Dalton Evans. I'm 10 years old and happy to report that I've never had a cavity. Thanks to brushing twice a day and two cleanings a year at Dr. Hale Family Dentistry. Schedule your family's appointment today by calling 242-1800. Back here at DeSoto, let's take a look at the starting lineups. For DeSoto, number 20, Brandon Bell, 5'9", a junior. Number 21, Alex Wilson, Wilcox, rather. He is 5'10", and he is a senior. Number 22, Ty Kemp, he is Six foot and a senior. Number 24, Ethan Thurlow. He is 5'10 and a senior. And number 40, Grant Knoll. Knoll is 6'5 and a sophomore. Check that, I'm sorry, it's number 33, Noah Wilson. Noah Wilson is the other starter. He is 6'3 and he is a senior. Wildcats are two and two. Don't no, check that. Sorry, it is Noel in the starting lineup. So Noel is a six-five sophomore. Wildcats are coached by Matt Rice and assisted by Todd Hessong, Eric Bell. Ottawa in red uniforms, black and white trim, and Soto is in uh, white uniforms with green trim. Ottawa is going to move left to right here in the first half of play. Tonight's tip-off is brought to you by. Our friends at Bones Transportation, a family-owned and operated trucking company in Ottawa for over 50 years and a longtime supporter of Ottawa Cyclone Athletics, Bones Transportation in South Ottawa. Once again, the starters for DeSoto, Bell, Wilcox, Kemp, Thurlow, and Noel. And for Ottawa, Bife, Bones, Johnson, McCullough, and Carroll. Tap will be controlled in backcourt by the Wildcats. With the basketball, Kemp. He'll give off to Thurlow. Far sideline now, Bell. Bell looking to penetrate, but nothing's there. Th- uh, now Thurlow over near the sidelines, Bell. Bell gives it up to Wilcox. Wilcox holding it high overhead. Far sideline it goes to Thurlow. Thurlow to the free throw line. No shot. Instead, Bell will shoot for three and miss it. Rebound to Isaac McCullough. Otto will push it up court. And a bad pass. McCullough threw it away. Turnover on the Cyclones on their opening possession. With the basketball, Thurlow. 
Near the sidelines, that's Wilcox. Wilcox spins, looks to penetrate, gets it in. Goes up a wild shot, no good, but Ottawa's going to be whistled for a foul. Drew Bones will pick up the foul, and it will send Alex Wilcox to the free throw line. Free throw attempt, rolls out. Second one up and good. Carroll over to Bise. Near the corner, Johnson holding it high overhead. Back it goes to Bise, left wing. And a man defense. Here's Bife driving the lane, showing up with the left hand, rolling it out. Follow try by Bones won't go, but Johnson puts it back in. Wilcox on the dribble up quickly. Here's a near steal by Carroll, taken by Bell. Over the corner, that's Thurlow, and Thurlow has his pocket picked by Carroll. Here's Perry in the front court. Is off to Bife, three right sides, a little bit too hard. Rebound to DeSoto. Up court comes Kemp. Kemp to Thurlow. Thurlow bounces across court to Kemp. Kemp, Bell near the Ottawa bench. And it goes to Noel. He swings it outside. That was Wilcox thinking about a three. Now stops, gives it up to Noel right wing. Ottawa also in a man-to-man. Here's a fake of a three. Now a three from the left side, no good, by Thurlow, and rebounded by McCullough. McCullough looking to go coast-to-coast. Off-balance jumpers, no good. Missed everything. Here comes DeSoto the other way. Wilcox stops. His three-point try is good. 4-2 to DeSoto. We played about two and a half minutes. Carroll on the dribble, takes it left, looks for somebody, now drives, he'll throw up the off-balance shot, scored, he's fouled. I say that was an off-balance shot, Perry Carroll was under control right there, and he put the shot in, drew the foul from Ty Kemp. Early substitution for Coach Matt Rice, Levi Hansen into the ball game. Carroll's three for attempt is good. He plays the three-point play, and Ottawa takes a 5-4 lead. Kemp, the point guard, gives off to Bell. Bell over to Wilcox, far sideline. Wilcox stops, thought about that long three, didn't take it. Now gets the ball back from Noel and travels. Second turnover on the Wildcats. Ottawa would love nothing better than to take DeSoto out of this game early. Cooper Deals coming off the Ottawa bench at the next whistle. Bethe forced the shot or the pass into the post, and there's a holding foul against DeSoto. That one's on Wilcox, his first, team second. Deal in, bones out. Beef A will inbound left of the Ottawa basket. And it get into Carroll out about 25 feet away from the bucket. Carroll behind the back dribble, lost control of it, had it stripped, but got it back. Now Johnson. Johnson drives to the hole. That shot is good. No shot. Foul before the shot. On Grant Knoll. Chris Johnson didn't hesitate there. He took it right to the bucket. The type of thing you'd like for Ottawa to do more of. Carroll, between the circles, McCullough. Isaac driving, dishes inside the deal, lay in good. That's good ball movement right there. Nice assist for McCullough. And Ottawa leads 7 4. Kemp in the front court, takes it right. Puts for Bell. Bell. Goes right side to Wilcox for a three ball. It's good. 
Alex Wilcox has all seven DeSoto points. We're tied up. Carroll, no look pass to Johnson. Leans, puts the shot up in the lane. No good, but a foul on Knoll. And that'll be two quick fouls on Grant Knoll. So Matt Reisel will have to, have to go to his bench. Two free throws for Chris Johnson. First one on the way, rattles out, no good. Chance Montgomery and Jared Baruth will come in. Second free throw for Johnson is short. Tipped around, tipped outside. Johnson has it again, trying to get inside the deal, and it's off his hands out of bounds. 7-7 7-7 tie, 4.05 to play first quarter. Kemp hands off to Baruth. Baruth has deal on him. Takes it right, gives off now to Hanson. And now in the hands of Wilcox. Carroll is now on Wilcox, causing Wilcox the problem as he finally gives it to Hanson. Hanson. Near the corner, passes tipped, stolen by Ottawa. Here's a pass ahead to Carroll. Carroll dishes off to McCullough. Layup is good. So the turnover and the bucket, and the cycle is up 9-7. First two for McCullough. Ruth out near midcourt, takes it left. Over to Kemp. Kemp to Wilcox for three. That one misses. And Deal lost it off his hands out of bounds. Cyclones will send Ethan Rowe and Drew Bay into the lineup. And Thurlow comes back in for the Wildcats. And it comes to Montgomery. Swings it outside to Hanson. Now in the corner, here's a three ball on the way. And it's good again by Alex Wilcox. Wilcox has 10. DeSoto has 10, Ottawa 9. Here's Carroll, the length of the floor, layup good. Nobody stopped Perry Carroll, and he's got five in the game. Hanson over to Thurlow. Now to Baruth, left wing. Baruth looking to penetrate, stops at the free throw line. Jump pass to Wilcox, makes the three. Now takes the three and misses badly. Rebound to McCullough. McCullough up the left sideline. He'll stop, put up a long three, around the rim and out. Rebound, Bay inside, put back is no good. Tipped up and around, and a foul on Ottawa. Cooper Deal will pick up the foul. His first, team's second. Caleb Schaefer checking in for Ottawa. And Deal will go to the bench. In the front court comes Hanson. Hanson, they on him, got a pick, takes it into the lane, shoots high and misses, and a late foul call on the Cyclones. And to be whistled against McCullough. Free throws for Hanson. He can give DeSoto the lead if he hits both. First one's up and in. Hanson's second is in. Now McCullough will bring it up court for the Cyclones. Far sideline, Bay. Bay taking it right over to Deal. Bounces along the right blocks to McCullough. Skip past Bay, left wing. Bay looking inside. Now it gives to Rowe. Rowe, top of the circle, Schaefer. Left side, Deal. Over goes to McCullough. McCullough into the lane. Fouled hard. And he'll go to the line for two. Here 
Here's an updated girls score. Osage City leading West Franklin at the end of three quarters, 27-23. Free throw from McCullough is good. Three points for Isaac. We're tied at 12. And a second one in. And now McCullough will get a breather. Carroll back into the auto lineup. So Carroll, Bay, Schaefer, Rowe, and Deal out there right now for Ottawa. 143 to play, first period. Hansen gets off to Thurlow. Right side to Wilcox near the sideline. Looking for a pick. Stops, bounces it. Nearly stolen. Whistle. Foul on Ottawa. That's on Carroll, his first, and the fourth Ottawa team foul. Kemp and Bell will come back in for the Wildcats. And it comes to Bell, far side lines, knocked out of bounds by Schaefer. On the inbounds, it's Baruch. And a holding foul on Rowe. He got his hands in there, and they're going to call that every time. So Ethan Rowe picks up his first foul. Now Ottawa has five team fouls, as does DeSoto. On the inbounds, it's Kemp. Bell near the corner. Bell. Off it goes to Baruch, who drives, runs right through Bay, and commits... The offensive foul. Bay did a nice job of holding his position right there. First foul on Baruth. Team foul number six on DeSoto. Carroll. Left side to Bay. Out top to Rowe. Now to Deal. Deal over to Schaefer. Bay. Couple dribbles. Takes it to the free throw line. Finds Rowe. Rowe for three. That's too hard. Rebound to Bay, though, in the lane, and he'll be fouled. Oh, they're going to call a travel. Bethe and McCullough back in for Ottawa. Kim. Far sideline, hands off to Bell. Now to Thurlow. Over it goes to Kemp, takes the three. Pass it to Thurlow, and now to Bell. They swing it around the perimeter. Bell, right side Thurlow. Ruth on the right wing. Entry pass is stolen. Good defense by Cooper Deal. Head it comes to McCullough. McCullough on the drive, and a foul on Baruth. Walking foul. And that'll be the seventh team foul, so one and one already here with 22 seconds to play in the period. Wilcox will come back in for Baruch. Free throw McCullough is good. Earns him a second one. Ottawa by a deuce, 14-12. Second on the way is good. I would imagine Matt Rice will want his team to work for one shot here. If he had his druthers, he'd want to get it in Wilcox's hands. Kemp, it's nine seconds, eight. Kemp is off to Wilcox, shoots it for three, and hits it again. Two seconds, one from half-court Carroll. Off the glass just a little too hard. At the end of one quarter, the score is Ottawa 15 and DeSoto 15. We're back in one minute. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. 
quality matters, choose the best. Choose Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling. Call today and make sure your heating and cooling system is ready for the season at 785-242-9273. Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling, maintaining your comfort for over 30 years. Technology, mobile banking, I totally heart my bank. Kansas State Bank, a better way to bank with community people you know. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. This is Ryan Disbro, your State Farm Insurance agent in Garnett, providing insurance and financial services, including retirement options, bank loans, life insurance, and annuities. Call and schedule your financial services consultation today at 785-448-1660. This is Dr. Weston Zinner at Franklin County Chiropractic in Ottawa. We hope you're enjoying the game and remind you that whether you're an athlete or a weekend warrior, we can help relieve your pain for a better performance. Call 785-242-9393 for an appointment. Alex Wilcox with four three-pointers in that first quarter, including one with about three seconds to go to tie the ball game at 15. Ottawa has the ball to start the second period, moving left to right. They're led by Isaac McCullough with six. Devion Bethay with the ball. Far sideline over goes to McCullough. McCullough cut off along the baseline, now drives it anyway. This is inside the Bones. Lamp is good. First two for Drew Bones. Another nice assist by McCullough. McCullough. Thurlow. Over to Bell. Bell, couple dribbles. Now Kemp. Kemp to Wilcox. Wilcox picks up his dribble. Is back to Bell. Bell, top of the circle. Round it goes to Wilcox. Takes the three. And a whistle and a sideline violation as Wilcox stepped on the line over there. At six DeSoto turnovers. Ottawa is three. Cyclones up by two, 17-15. 7.20 to play before half. The radio is tuned at halftime for the Advantage Electric Halftime Show. Carroll gets a pick from McCullough, but now he gets the ball back from Perry, and McCullough rattles in a three, top of the circle. And nine points for McCullough. The Cyclones have opened up a five-point advantage. Here's Thurlow handing off to Wilcox. Wilcox. Looking for a shake and bake move, but Johnson stayed with him nicely. Here's Thurlow driving into the lane, gets it back outside to Kemp. Kemp thought about a long three, didn't take it. Now Bell will shoot for three and hit. Well, teams are killing Ottawa with the threes right now. Twelve the other night by Topeka West, five already in this game by DeSoto. 20 to 18. Carroll with the basketball over to Bethay. Bethay to Johnson, top of the circle. Bethe, or check that, Johnson to McCullough for another three-pointer. That's perfect. And McCullough has a dozen. Kemp is off to Bell. Bell in the corner. Kemp shooting over Bethe for three and missing too hard. But the rebound came out high to Kemp. Here's Wilcox, another long three, missing short. Bones with the rebound. Out the pass to McCullough. Ottawa looking to run. McCullough double-teamed. Is it off to Bones? Bones in the corner, Bethay. He'll drive the baseline, and he'll be fouled. Fouls on Brandon Bell, his first. Eighth team foul, so a one and one for Bethay. Junior eyes the mark, shoots and misses, rebound taken by DeSoto. Now a bad pass off the hands of Bell, but he ran it down. Far sideline it goes to Wilcox. Wilcox looking to get rid of Bethe, but McCullough picks him up. Now Wilcox cut off, finds Kemp. Kemp thought about a three, didn't take it. Wilcox traveled. Tyler Barkemeyer is in the ball game for DeSoto. Bethe, left elbow. Looking to drive the baseline, kicks it off to McCullough, follow a three, got it. 
And Isaac McCullough feeling it tonight. He's got nine in the quarter, 15 in the game. Bell. Cyclone's up eight now. Bell driving. Throws up the runner. No good. Rebound Carroll. And stripped of the basketball. Nice play by Bowes to keep it alive. Here's McCullough to Bise. Back it goes to McCullough, but it's off the hands in of Wilcox and out of bounds. Ruth and Hanson will check in for DeSoto. Ottawa's going to send in Deal and Schaefer. 4.47 to play in the half. Ottawa up 26-18. Cliff McCullough happy with the hustle he got right there from Drew Bones, who came out of the ballgame. Kept that ball alive off that loose ball. Here's McCullough taking the three. Now step back, and we got an offensive foul. A push off on McCullough. Second foul on McCullough. Team foul number six. Hanson out near midcourt. Swings it out to Bell. Bell drives the lane behind the back pass. is stolen by McCullough. Here's a pass ahead to Carroll. Perry drives the lane, lays it in. Ottawa by 10, 4.16 to play in the second period. Far sideline, Hanson. Hanson looks to drive the baseline. The pass is stolen by Schaefer. Here's a pass ahead to Carroll. Perry, shake and bake move through the lane, lays it up and in. And Matt Rice wants a timeout. 3.57 to play in the first half. Ottawa leads 30-18. And we're back in a minute. This is Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. Since 1944, families of Franklin County have called Dingle and Son Mortuary and Crematory in their time of need. Why? Because of the peace of mind received knowing that Dingle and Son will take charge and exceed expectations. Visit DingleMortuary.com. This is Dr. Weston Zinner at Franklin County Chiropractic in Ottawa. We hope you're enjoying the game and remind you that whether you're an athlete or a weekend warrior, we can help relieve your pain for a better performance. Call 785-242-9393 for an appointment. This is Lou Baker at CarStar Ottawa. Our technicians are highly trained, iCar certified repair experts. We provide continued education for our employees and the latest equipment to ensure the highest quality repairs. We work hard at staying your number one collision repair shop. 1-800-CARSTAR. Relax, we'll take it from here. Performance Electric in Ottawa is a locally owned company offering you solutions for residential, commercial, farm electrical needs, whether it's a new build, remodel, or service job. Call 242-5748. Sports, information, and entertainment in East Central Kansas. KOFO K279 CS Ottawa, where keeping you informed comes first. Ottawa, a nice run. They leave now 30 to 18. Hanson for the Wildcats. High post that goes to Noel, nearly had it stripped. Back it goes to Hanson near the far side lines. And a steal by Steele. Can he save it? He does. Bife with it. Here comes Carroll. Ottawa does not have numbers, but that doesn't bother Perry. He'll take it in, scoop it up and in. <laughs> Carroll with six in the quarter, 11 in the ball game, and the Cyclones now have a 14-point advantage. Here's a foul on Bife, 30 feet away from the basket. Seventh team foul on the Cyclones, so Levi Hansen will shoot one and one. Free throw is good. Hanson now at three, all from the line. That breaks a nice run by the Cyclones. Second free throw, good. Under three and a half to play in the first half. McCullough with it. Pull up three from the top. No good. Rebound to Noel. Hanson driving. Pass is stolen by McCullough. McCullough drives. Tapped away from behind by Baruch. 11 to Soto turnovers now.
Kemp will come back in for the Wildcats. Ottawa to inbound. Bife right of the basket. Looking for somebody. Gets it into Carroll. Carroll knifing through traffic again. Had it stripped, but managed to save it over to the hands of Deal. Now Bife. Deal along the baseline. Back to Bife. Carroll, 250 to play in the half. Perry looking for a pick. Driving the lane. Gives it up to Schaefer. Now McCullough takes the three. Traveled with it. Halftime score, no Suwannemi leads Anderson County 20 to 13. Halftime at Payola, Panthers lead Spring Hill 23 to 11. Bell with the basketball, left side it goes to Baruth. Baruth will shoot it for three, missed it off the heel, rebound to Ottawa. Carroll near the DeSoto bench. Gets it into BC's hands. Devion to the free throw line. Fouled. That'll be the 10th team foul. That foul called on Chance Montgomery. BC, full of one from the line. Check that. It looks like it's the ninth team foul, so it'll be a one and one. Devion hits the front end. Into the Cyclone lineup is Zane Mule and also Kobe Johnson. Cyclone's up by 13. With 218 to play before halftime. Second free throw is in. First two of the night for Bife. Kemp. To Wilcox. A little bit out of his range, even. Now Bell. Over goes to Baruth. Baruth got a pick from Noel, but nearly had it stolen. Now Kemp left wing. Tries to force the pass inside. And a reach in foul called against Carroll. Second foul on Perry Carroll. And a one and one for Grant Noel. Noel hits the free throw. We'll recap the girls game for you at halftime. Also get you updated on other scores. Both free throws good by the sophomore Noel to make it 34-22. Carroll slowly into front court. Takes it left, goes to Johnson. Now to Bife, right wing. Tried to force the pass inside, and that was stolen by Kemp. Long pass ahead to Bell. Bell will give it up to Baruth. Back to Bell, who shoots for three and misses. Rebound to Mule. Nice job on the defensive end there by the senior. Bife out to Carroll. He'll pop a triple and got it. Perry Carroll has nine in the period, 14 in the ball game. Ottawa's lead is 15, 37, 22. Minute 15 to go in the half. Baruth gives off to Wilcox. Wilcox, shake and bake move over in the corner. Baruth, a triple. No good. Rebound to Johnson. And a pass to Mule to Carroll. Carroll lost it. And a steal by Bell. Kemp calls the play as we're under a minute to go in the half. Kemp takes it left. Off it goes now to Baruch. Right side, Wilcox. Wilcox looking in the post. It wasn't there. Now Bell pumps a long three. Rims off. Rebound, Noel inside. That one won't go. And Johnson has the board. McCullough. Carroll out near midcourt. Let's see if Ottawa decides to work for one shot here. He's a far sideline. Devion just dribbling. Clock down to 20. That was 16. Bife 
looks over, and Cliff McCullough calls a timeout. 13 seconds to play in the half. Cyclones on top, 37-22. We're back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. The City of Ottawa proudly supports the student-athletes at Ottawa High School and wishes the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Find information about city events, bill paying, or current employment opportunities by visiting online at ottawaks.gov. Since 1944, families of Franklin County have called Dingle and Son Mortuary and Crematory in their time of need. Why? Because of the peace of mind received knowing that Dingle and Son will take charge and exceed expectations. Visit Dingle Mortuary. Drew Bay and Bryce Wiggins are in the ball game now for Ottawa. 11 seconds to go in the half. Here's Kobe Johnson making a catch in traffic, but then losing the basketball. Long pass ahead to Noel. Noel can't run it down, and it's out of bounds with 2.7 belonging to the Wildcats as Wiggins went for the steal and couldn't come up with it. That is Wilcox to inbound. He'll get it out high to Baruth. Over goes to Wilcox, shooting for three and missing. And that's the end of the first half. A good second period for Ottawa. They outscored the Wildcats 22-7, to and they lead at halftime 37-22. And we're back after this two-minute break with the Advantage Electric Halftime Report. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. This is Eric Crowley with Advantage Electric. On the court, teams look for any advantage they can get. When it comes to your electric needs, whether residential, commercial, or custom, we're your advantage. Advantage Electric, 229 North Main in Ottawa. Call today at 785-418-1218. To protect your family and plan for your financial future, get to know your modern woodman agent. Hello, I'm Dale Pearson, your modern woodman agent in Ottawa, Kansas. Call me today at 242-6566. Modern Woodman of America. Touching lives, securing futures. Kramer Pharmacy, downtown Ottawa, hopes you're enjoying this KOFO sports broadcast and wishes all the area teams good luck this season. Call Kramer Pharmacy today and ask about their convenient MedSync program that allows you to have all your prescriptions filled at the same time each month. Call 242-2055. Your nervous system controls the function of every cell, tissue, and organ in your body. A simple problem can upset your body's regular function. At Ottawa Chiropractic, we correct nerve system interferences. This is Dr. Mike Hyatt. You can learn more by calling 242-2055. At State Farm, our goal is to help people manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. This is State Farm Agent Keith King in Ottawa. Let me help you protect what's most important to you. Give my office a call at 785-242-9435 or stop by at 111 South Main Street in Ottawa. Eric Price and his staff at the Lamb Roberts Funeral Homes are proud to sponsor this KOFO sports broadcast and honored to help so many families in the community with compassionate care when it's needed most. Lamb Roberts Funeral Home. Ottawa, Baldwin City, and Overbrook. Smart Ottawa shoppers know Costantino's Price Chopper has the best rewards program in town. Only Price Chopper lets you earn points on all your purchases. Visit MyPriceChopper.com and start saving on food or fuel today. Shop Costantino's, your local family-owned grocer since 1948. Quality Structures Incorporated in Richmond is proud to sponsor this KOFO sports broadcast. They know experience matters on the court and when it comes to your building needs. Visit QualityStructures.com and let them put their years of experience in constructing post frame buildings to work for you. Half time here at DeSoto High School, and Ottawa has a 15 point lead, 37 to 22 over the Wildcats. There's a tight first period, and Alex Wilcox, the 5'10 senior, kept DeSoto in the game. He had 13 of the 15 points, including a three pointer with about three seconds to go to tie the ball game. But then Ottawa took control early in the second period. And lead here at intermission by the score of 37 to 22. Cyclone girls fell tonight, 58 to 35. They're now 0 and 4 on the season. Ottawa jumped out to a good start as they had been doing, but DeSoto had a five-point lead at the quarter, bumped it up to 14 at the half, and they kept their record perfect at 5 and 0. DeSoto had three players in double figures. Julia Johnson, 12. Madison Flake and Mariah Grizzle had 11 apiece. Ryan White had a double-double for Ottawa, 18 points and 10 rebounds for the Lady Cyclones. 
being entertained here at halftime by the dance team for DeSoto. And looks like uh, I'm guessing some athletes possibly from the football team that are out there helping them. Wouldn't quite say that ugly sweater night out there, but nice little kick line by these youngsters. And they've really entertained this crowd here. And we're at the half. Ottawa leads 37-22. We're back in two minutes. You're listening to the Advantage Electric Halftime Report here on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Anyone can call themselves a construction company, slap a sign on the side of their truck, and drive around town looking for work. Is that who you want to hire? No, you're smarter than that. Wise Guys Construction at 108 North Main in Ottawa has been in business for 13 years, building new residential homes, adding additions and finishing basements, solving commercial structure needs for businesses, and repairing damage left behind from fire or water. When it comes to who you hire for residential and commercial construction needs, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction at 785-229-5651. People's Bank in Ottawa is proud to support our area sports teams. From People's Bank Field at Ottawa University to our Bucks for Buckets promotion and more, we believe our local sports programs are an investment in our future. Best of luck to all the teams from all of us at People's Bank. Member FDIC. The City of Ottawa proudly supports the student-athletes at Ottawa High School and wishes the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Find information about city events, bill paying, or current employment opportunities by visiting online at ottawaks.gov. Bones Transportation has been a family-owned and operated trucking company in Ottawa for over 50 years and a longtime supporter of Ottawa Cyclone Athletics. They wish the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Bones Transportation in South Ottawa. 17 locations, unlimited golf, unlimited summertime swimming, family membership for one monthly price. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, that's just what you'll get at Great Life Golf and Fitness in Ottawa. Call 242-3734 or stop by at 1001 East Logan and find out how you can get started today. Searching for that perfect gift for someone? How about for yourself? This holiday season, spend your dollars wisely on something that lasts and gives back year after year after year. Shop Messengers Home Furnishings for furniture, bedding, and accessories right now during their holiday sale in South Ottawa. Ransom Memorial Hospital Cancer Care, your cancer-fighting team, is open and accepting patients. For a personalized care experience, call 785 229 82 Online at ransom.org or at 1301 South Main Street, Ottawa. RMH Cancer Care. Close to home, close to your heart. Back here in DeSoto where Ottawa leads 37-22 at halftime. Halftime scoring looks like this. For DeSoto, 13 for Alex Wilcox. All of those, though, came in the first period. Ottawa held him in check in the second quarter. Four points for Levi Hansen off the bench. Brandon Bell with a three-pointer, and Grant Noel with a couple of free throws. Ottawa got 15 in the first half from Isaac McCullough and 14 from Perry Carroll. Now, you would say ordinarily the Cyclones got 29 of their 37 from those two players. They must have been the Bronx during the uh, run of the offense, but I tell you what, they really did a good job of moving the ball around, and two points apiece for Cooper Deal, Chris Johnson, Drew Bones and Devion Bethe, and everybody got involved in the Cyclone offense in that first half of play. Ottawa was 7 of 10 from the free throw line. DeSoto was 7 of 8. Unofficially, the Wildcats turned it over 11 times, 8 for Ottawa. Foul trouble. Ottawa has Isaac McCullough and Perry Carroll with a couple. Jared Baruth and Grant Noel each picked up two personal fouls in the first half for DeSoto. You've been listening to the Advantage Electric Cyclone Halftime Report here on KOFO. Whether you're building or remodeling, residential or commercial, get the electric advantage for your project. Advantage Electric 229 North Main. Call 418-1218. And we'll be back with the second half after a two-minute timeout. This is Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. The Ottawa Shopper has a new look with new features. Never miss your favorite TV show with The TV Guides. Find area church times and the popular Kids Talk About God column on the church pages. And get useful employment tips from our weekly Q&A advice column. Call 242-4700 to get your Franklin County address added to our subscription list for free or pick up The Ottawa Shopper at multiple racks around town. That's 242-4700. Don't you wish gift shopping was as easy as one, two, three? It is at Sutton's Jewelry. 
Introducing the Sutton's Love List. One, invite your loved one to stop in. Two, we'll make a list of his or her favorites. And three, we'll share it with you and you'll give the best Christmas gift ever this holiday season. We'll also include free gift wrapping. Sutton's Jewelry, making your gift shopping as easy as 123 at 207 South Main. You've been in a vehicle accident. And now you need a rental car while yours is being fixed. When you choose Dale's Body Shop at 424 North Main in Ottawa, you can pick up and return your rental car at their shop. Dale's Body Shop, 242-6225. Have you had your car or truck service lately? This is Dr. Mike Hyatt of Ottawa Chiropractic Clinic. The same benefits apply to your body. Regular chiropractic checkups help detect and correct small problems and can help prevent them from becoming larger. Call for your checkup today. Ottawa Chiropractic Clinic, 242-4100. Whether you're building or or remodeling, you want your project to be unique to you. Eric Crowley of Advantage Electric can help. Something recently we've started is custom lighting. Making custom lights, I've noticed it's a it's a new trend. Not everybody wants the big, you know, box light fixtures that you can buy. Everybody's looking for something eclectic nowadays and, and new and, 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 a, and a conversation piece. Your ideas come to life. Anything and everything that you could think of that you could possibly make a light fixture out of, we could certainly do it. Advantage Electric, 229 North Main. Call 418-1218. Ready for the second half here at DeSoto. Basketball, basketball will belong to the Wildcats. They have out there Thurlow, Kemp, Wilcox, Knoll, and Bell. Ottawa will send its starters out there. Chris Johnson, McCullough, Bethe, Bones, and Carroll. Final score, girls play from Wellsville. Lady Eagles beat Burlington tonight 74-62. And they move to 4-1 and one on the season, 2-0 and oh in the Pioneer League. Officials waiting for something here. I'm not sure exactly what. And here we go in the second half. Wildcats have it first. Pass is tipped, stolen by Bones. Bones' pass was stolen right back by Thurlow. Not a good decision there by Bones. Here's Bell into the lane. Gives it off to Noel for a free throw line shot that misses. And Bethe rebounds for Ottawa. Carroll up the far sideline. Perry looking to avoid the double team. Gives it off to Bethe. Left side now to McCullough. McCullough spins the baseline. Jumper on the way. Rattles out and rebounded by Thurlow. Kemp for the Wildcats. Near the sideline, Wilcox. Wilcox takes it left. Goes to Bell for a three. That one's good. Brandon Bell with his sixth point of the night. 37-25. Bethe out near midcourt to Carroll. Harry just holding it. Gives it back to Bethe. Bethe's double team. Looks for help. And that pass was taken by McCullough. McCullough skipped past to Carroll. Now to Johnson. Johnson finds Bones inside. Bones is cut off, puts up the junk hook, jump hook instead, and missed it, and then commits a foul on the rebound. Second foul on Bones. First Ottawa team foul of the second half. Kemp. Is on him. High post pass to Noel. Back to Kemp. Free throw line, Noel. Now to Bell and around to Wilcox. Wilcox to the free throw line. On the baseline, Thurlow's jumper missing. Tipped around. Kemp has it. Kemp to Bell. Fakes the three. Dumps to the post to Noel for a turnaround, missing too hard. And Bones rebounds for Ottawa. Outlet pass to Carroll. Carroll looks over the defense. Goes left side to Bethe. Bethe looks. It's a pick from Johnson. Now needs some help. Finds Johnson at the free throw line, and Johnson will be fouled. And Bell, who committed the foul, got the worst of that encounter. Oh, they're going to call it on Johnson. So a foul on Chris Johnson, offensive foul. His first team foul 
number two, and turnover number ten. Bell spins away from Bethe, but Davion got back there very quickly. Kemp looking to drive, not there. Now Wilcox gives it over to Bell. Bell into the post to Noel. Noel finds a cutting Thurlow, and Thurlow lays it in. And a 5-0 run to start the second half to lead down to 10 for Ottawa. Bethe near the Ottawa bench. Bethe looking to penetrate, drives in, tried to dish inside of Johnson, and out of bounds to DeSoto. And a timeout call for by Cliff McCullough. This timeout comes with 5.14 to play in the third period. We're back in 30 seconds. Cyclones lead at 37-27, and you're listening to Ottawa High Basketball on KOFO. When quality matters, choose the best. Choose Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling. Call today and make sure your heating and cooling system is ready for the season at 785-242-9273. Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling, maintaining your comfort for over 30 years. This is Ryan Disborough, your State Farm Insurance agent in Garnett, providing insurance and financial services, including retirement options, bank loans, life insurance, and annuities. Call and schedule your financial services consultation today at 785-448-1660. Wildcat basketball as we get back to action here. Kemp takes it right. Foul on McCullough, trying to fight through a pick. This officiating crew has not given Ottawa any breaks here tonight. McCullough will come out. Schaefer replaces him. And it comes to Kemp. Kemp takes it right. Is off to Bell. Bell off to Wilcox. Wilcox, skip pass, right side, Kemp. Now to Bell. Left wing near the sideline to Wilcox. Out top, Kemp again. Right wing, Bell looking in the post. Nothing there. Instead, Thurlow from the free throw line missing. Rebound to Bethe. Devion, double team, dribbles right around it. Looks for some body inside, but it wasn't there. Now we'll give it up to Carroll. Carroll, pick from Bones. Carroll, look. Skip pass out to Bethe. Left wing, Johnson. Johnson to the free throw line. Over the corner, Schaefer. Now Carroll. Carroll looking to avoid the double team. Nearly lost the ball. Got it to Johnson. Underneath it goes to Schaefer. He'll lean in and shoot. Miss, but he was fouled. That's a sort of foul on Wilcox, his second. Team foul number one. Caleb Schaefer with a couple of free throws. He's not scored tonight. At the end of three quarters, Oswaldi's boys leading Anderson County 35-19. Schaefer misses the first free throw. Baruth comes in for DeSoto. At the end of three at Paola, Panthers 31 and Spring Hill 23. Second free throw, Schaefer is good. Here's Baruth, open from 15, he misses, rebound to Bones. Outlet pass to Carroll. Carroll to Schaefer, inside to Johnson, laying good. Great passing that time by the Cyclones. Johnson now with four on the night. Here's Wilcox, behind the back dribble, driving, showing the shot up good off the glass. Carroll, the other way, top of the circle. Beat they left wing, three-point try, good by Devion. Final in overtime, Osage, or, uh, West Franklin's girls beat Osage City 50-45. Here's a steal by the Cyclones, and then a steal right back, bad pass by Johnson. Bell, driving, gives it to Kemp. Now to Baruth for three. That one's too hard. And the rebound to Carroll. Carroll finds a cutting. Bethe lift is railroaded in. 
almost came back out, but went back down through. Seven now for Bethe in the ball game. Cyclones up 45 to 29. Bell picked up his dribble. Right side it goes to Wilcox. Wilcox wants to work on Carroll. Takes it into the lane. Is cut off. Now shoots and was fouled. Who picked up the foul? Was it Bones? No, it's on Carroll. Three on Perry Carroll now. Wilcox shooting two. Gets the first one. Rowe and Deal come in for Ottawa. Also Bay into the Cyclone lineup. Hanson, Montgomery, and Xavier Jackson come in for DeSoto. Second free throw misses. Foul on the rebound over the back called on Chance Montgomery. This second, team foul number two. Right side, Schaefer. Deal, top of the key. Left wing, Bethe. Bethe, shake and bake move. Finds a cutting bay. Into the lane to roll. Lamp good, and he's fouled. Ethan Rowe running the lane well. Gets the bucket. And again, the foul is on Montgomery, his third. Dole's going to come back in. Check that. I'm sorry, that's the fourth foul on Montgomery. Three-point play possibility here for Ethan Rowe. Free throw attempt is too hard. Rebound Thiel in the lane. Thiel finds Bay along the baseline. He'll lean in. Had it blocked. And now Thiel runs it down, but it's on the end line. It'll stay with the Cyclones, though. Cyclone student section standing the whole game. It's kind of hard to see in that corner. Bay will inbound. Comes into row. Now to Schaefer. Schaefer. Offensive foul. Illegal screen set by the Cyclones. Cooper Deal with his second foul. Team foul number five on Ottawa. Ottawa leads 47-30 with 2.09 to play third period. Hansen pushes it up court. Bounces between the circles to Baruch. Now to Jackson. Jackson to the free throw line. Now Wilcox. Wilcox stops. Skip pass, nearly stolen. Hansen, top of the circle. That is Noel. Got away with a push off. Missed the shot. Got his own rebound. Out it goes to Wilcox for three. And he hit it. And timeout call for by DeSoto. I don't think they wanted a timeout. No, no timeout. Cliff McCullough wants to know why there wasn't an elbow on there. It was called against the Cyclones earlier in the ballgame. And he's got a point. Rowe had to go to the bench. He had some bleeding, and so who's going to come in to replace him? All you want is consistency, and that was anything but that because the same play was called differently earlier in the game. Mule comes back in for Ottawa. It's a relatively short lineup out there for the Cyclones now. Keith Hay with it. Ottawa by 14. Here's Bay. Bad pass. Here's a breakaway for Baruth. Bay chasing him. Layup is good. Keith Hay. And he throws it. And Schaefer can't come up with it cleanly. It goes out of bounds. Cyclones with two quick turnovers, and now DeSoto can cut the lead to 10 or possibly 9. Hanson. Hanson. 
looking for help. Finds Baruth at the free throw line. Back it goes to Hanson. Hanson driving on Bife. Cut off. Out it goes now to Baruth. Around to Jackson and to Wilcox. Wilcox. Lost control of it momentarily. Got it back. Shooting it for three. Missed it this time. Rebound Bife. And a bad pass knocked away, but controlled by the Cyclones. Here's Bay looking for help. Bounced it back out to Bife. Devion behind the back dribble. Brings it back outside. 35 seconds to go in the period. And Cliff McCullough wants one shot here, I believe. Bay holding it high overhead. One dribble, two dribbles. Now if it goes to Bife. 23 on the clock. Bife drives the lane. Kicks it in the corner. Shot by Bay. Misses everything. And a pistol and a foul on the rebound. Going against DeSoto. Noel will pick up his third personal. Team foul number four. And Montgomery comes in, replacing Noel. So you're placing a man with three fouls with one with four. 16 seconds to go in the quarter. Cyclones would like a bucket here at the end of the quarter. Bay. Over it goes to Mule, and that pass is stolen. Here's Jackson. Driving, leaning, missing the shot, but it follows up and good by Hanson. Two seconds, one. Mule will not get the shot off in time. That's the end of the third quarter, and it's Ottawa 47, DeSoto 37. We're back in one minute, and you're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, all you need is the sign of a REMAX agent and your real estate needs are taken care of. Neva Smith, your local REMAX agent, has years of experience and knowledge of the local market. Neva will work with you to get the results you're looking for so that buyer or seller will not get away. Contact Neva Smith, your local REMAX agent today at nevasmith.com or call 785-229-0504. Neva proudly supports the youth of today for the future of tomorrow and wishes all the area teams good luck this season. At State Farm, our goal is to help people manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. This is State Farm Agent Keith King in Ottawa. Let me help you protect what's most important to you. Give my office a call at 785-242-9435 or stop by at 111 South Main Street in Ottawa. Need to know if your child's game or practice has been canceled due to weather? Sign up now for Ottawa Recreation Commission's text alerts. Go to orcottawaks.org to sign up or for more information. Well, Ottawa led a 17-point lead, dwindled down to 10. They'll get the basketball to start the fourth period. They have out there Wiggins, Carroll, Chris Johnson, McCullough, and Bones. Hanson, Wilcox, Jackson, Montgomery, and Baruth for DeSoto. Terry Carroll takes it left, gives it off to McCullough. He jumps in the post to... Johnson now to Bones for the layup that's good and a foul. Good interior passing that time. The assist going to Chris Johnson. Hanson the foul, his first, the team's fifth. Bones a chance for a three point play. Free throw attempt is good. Five for Bones tonight. Ruth for the Wildcats. Takes it right now. Hands off to Jackson. Jackson back. It goes to Baruth. Jackson right wing. Jackson penetrating, floating, scoring. First points tonight for Xavier Jackson. Here's McCullough driving the lane, dishing off to Carroll for a three that's off the mark. And rebounded by DeSoto. Here's Wilcox ahead to Hanson. Hanson to Jackson near the DeSoto bench. Whistle. Holding foul on Carroll. That's four on Perry. And 7.03 to play. And Cliff McCullough is going to have to go to his bench, you would think. Noel comes back in for the Wildcats, who are within 11. Carroll out. Schaefer replaces it. (laughs) 
And it comes to Hansen. Hansen pushed off, got away with it. Here's Wilcox. Wilcox into the corner to Hansen. Hansen, offensive foul. Away from the basketball. That's on Wilcox. It's his third. Also a turnover, number 14 on the Wildcats. Both teams have 14 turnovers tonight. McCullough with the basketball. Left side, Schaefer. Over to Johnson. Johnson finds Wiggins inside. His jumper is good. Bryce Wiggins with his first two, 52-39. Hand off to Jackson, right side. Jackson. Over it goes now to Wilcox. Wilcox driving. Shot no good. Foul on Ottawa. Foul is on Chris Johnson. It's his second. Wilcox, two of four from the line tonight. Shooting a couple here. Free throw is good. 20 now in the ball game for Wilcox. Kemp replaces Hansen for DeSoto. Second free throw rattles out. Bones has the rebound. McCullough on the dribble. Takes it right. Double team. Finds a cutting Johnson. Johnson's shot misses. Follow try by Bones is no good, but a whistle and a foul. That's on Grant Knoll at this fourth. Shooting foul, so Bones at the line for a couple. First one is good. Fife in for Ottawa. And Wiggins will come to the bench. Tyler Barkemeyer comes back in for the Wildcats. Second free throw, Bones. Rims off. Rebound, Barkemeyer. 13-point ball game, 6.06 to go. Kemp. Ruth. Now back to Kemp. He'll shoot the long three. Rim it off. Rebound inside to Wilcox. Gives to Barkemeyer, who can't get the shot to fall. And a foul on Ottawa. Now check that. It'll be against Jackson. Jackson of DeSoto commits the foul. Pushing off. So we'll go to the other end for a one and one. Who will be the shooter? I think it's Bife. Debbie on seven points tonight. He's two of three from the line. Free throw attempt, no good. Rebound taken by Barkemeyer. Baruth looking to penetrate, not there, nearly a steal. Now Kemp over to Baruth, left wing. Ruth gets off to Wilcox. Wilcox gets past to Kemp. Kemp, now to Bruce, near the right corner. Bruce, whistle. Foul on Ottawa. It'll be called on Schaefer. First of the night for Caleb Schaefer, one and one for Jared Baruth. Winter weather advisory for Franklin, Osage, Douglas, and Anderson counties until 9 tomorrow night. Free throw rims in for Baruth. 53-41 Cyclones, 525 to play. Second free throw is good. And Bell will check back in for Coach Matt Rice. Final boys score, Osawatomi 50, Anderson County 33. Bife will take it right. Looks to drive. Over in the corner goes to Schaefer. Schaefer now to McCullough. Right side, Johnson. Johnson back out to Bife. 
Now to Schaefer. Schaefer, whistle. And we've got a three-second violation on the Cyclone. Thurlow replaces Wilcox. Chance for DeSoto to cut the lead to single digits here. Just under five to play. Bell to Thurlow. Left side, Jackson. Takes it to the baseline. Doesn't have anywhere to go. Now backs it out to Bell. Around to Kemp. Here's Thurlow with it. Finds Jackson underneath. He'll shoot over Bones and miss. But the rebound inside to Thurlow. Out it goes to Bell for three. No good. Tips around. Finally controlled by Barkemeyer. He'll find a cutting sack. And Jackson will lay it in to make it a nine-point game. Mithe in the front court to Johnson. Johnson lost control of it. Stolen. Here's a pass ahead to Jackson. Driving the lane. Layup no good. Rebounded. Johnson for Ottawa. Chris will bring it up court himself. Being chased from behind. He'll give it off to Bethe. Top of the circle. Devion brings it back out. We near the four-minute mark. 53-44 Cyclones. McCullough. Free throw line to Bones. Bones over in the corner to Bethe. In the campaign it goes to Johnson. His shot missed. But the follow's good by Bones. Bones now with eight. Lead back to 11. Here's Bell for three from the corner. Good. And it's an eight-point lead. Bethe near the Ottawa bench. Johnson left wing. Back out to Bethe around to McCullough. Isaac through traffic, lays it in. First points of the second half for McCullough. He's got 17 on the night. Pushing it up quickly is Kemp. Kemp off to Jackson. Jackson cut off by Bethe to Bell. Bell nearly walked with it. Now puts it on the floor over to Kemp. Kemp being given room by McCullough with three-minute mark. Ottawa by 10. There's a steal by Bife. Devion ahead of the pack. He'll lay it up with the left hand and miss. Rebound taken by Jackson. Kemp. Over goes to Bell. Bell in the corner. Thurlow. He'll shoot it for three and miss. Rebound McCullough. Cyclones back the other way with 2.42 to go. McCullough behind the back dribble. Gets it back outside to Bife as he was double teamed. He takes a pick from Johnson, and Cliff McCullough wants a timeout. 2.31 to go in this one, and the Cyclones lead 57-47. We're back in a minute, and you're listening to Ottawa High School Basketball on KOFO. Burger King presents Breakfast Stories. Today's story, Big Jim and three pancakes for 89 cents. I don't care what you call them, pancakes, flipjacks, flapcakes. The point is, at Burger King, you can get a stack of three of them for 89 cents. What kind of deal is this? Uh, a great one? Fill up on three golden pancakes for 89 cents. This is not breakfast. This is a Burger King breakfast. Get three pancakes for 89 cents only at Burger King. Limited time only. Price and participation vary. It's Macy's One Day Sale Saturday with our lowest prices of the season and amazing deals of the day store wide. Like Charter Club Cashmere Sweater, now only $39.99. Take an extra 40% off clearance designer handbag. Save $100 on a Samsung Gear S2 Classic smartwatch. Plus, get a free strap. Clearance dress shirts and ties, 75% off. And save 70% on all Martha Stewart flannel bedding, sheet sets, and throw. Earn plenty points during Macy's One Day Sale. Plenty, lots of points, lots of places. One rewards program. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. Ottawa now with two timeouts remaining. DeSoto has four. Cyclones will send out there Bay, Carroll, Deal, Kobe Johnson, and McCullough. Deal inbound to Carroll. Perry just holding it out near midcourt. He wants Jackson to come out on him, which he does. Perry will take it left. Off it goes to Bay. Bay takes it to the right sideline. I think he may have double dribbled and got away with it. Over goes to Thiel. And a near steal. Thiel will get the loose ball. Needs some help. Finds Bay. Cutting is Kobe Johnson. He missed the shot, but he was pushed from behind. And he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. 
Foul is on Bell, his second. So the freshman with a couple of free throws here could bump the lead back to 12 if he hits them both. Free throw rattles out, no good. Johnson's second one, has 10. First point of the night for Kobe Johnson. 58-47 Cyclones, two minutes to go. Kemp, off to Wilcox. He'll shoot the NBA three, miss it short. Rebound controlled by Johnson. And it comes to McCullough. McCullough beats Wilcox on the dribble. Reverse layup, no good. But the rebound to Carroll, his shot won't fall. Noel has it. Here comes Jackson. Jackson dishes off to Bell. Had trouble with it, and Ottawa steals, but it's off the end line, and Ottawa last touched it. So I'll go back over to DeSoto. Schaefer replaces Johnson for Ottawa High. 138 to play. Wilcox gets it in out high to Kemp. Kemp to Bell. Bell over to Jackson left side. Jackson to Wilcox, who had trouble with it. Now will put it on the floor. Knocked away by Schaefer, and we'll have a whistle and a foul. And it'll be called against Wilcox. Good defense there by the junior, Caleb Schaefer. And Wilcox picks up his fourth foul. Double bonus, so Schaefer will shoot a couple. He's one for two from the line. Free throws good. 59-47. We have a minute 24 to go. Ottawa looking for its third win on the season. And the second one's good. And a timeout call for by DeSoto. With a minute 22 to play, the score is Ottawa 60, DeSoto 47. We'll be back. After this one-minute timeout, you're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 107, 103.7 FM KOFO. The Pro Bowl is coming to Orlando. Inspire the young NFL fans in your family by taking them to the 2017 Pro Bowl, January 29th at Camping World Stadium. Tickets are on sale now for as low as $45 at ProBowl.com. Don't miss your chance to see NFL greats compete live and inspire the next generation of stars and fans. It's the 2017 Pro Bowl in Orlando, where the best meets the next. Burger King presents Breakfast Stories. Today's story, Big Jim and three pancakes for 89 cents. I don't care what you call them, pancakes, flipjacks, flap cakes. The point is, at Burger King, you can get a stack of three of them for 89 cents. What kind of deal is this? Uh, a great one? Fill up on three golden pancakes for 89 cents. This is not breakfast. This is a Burger King breakfast. Get three pancakes for 89 cents only at Burger King. Limited time only. Price and participation vary. Soto has the basketball in backcourt. Kemp over to Bell near the bench for the Wildcats. Out to Kemp. Now to Wilcox. Wilcox looking to drive. Said we'll flip it off to Kemp. Kemp to Jackson for three. Rattles out. Rebound to Bay. Now Ottawa in the driver's seat as we're under a minute to go. Carroll. To Bay, far sideline. Bay finds Schaefer. Schaefer to back to uh, McCullough. Back to Schaefer for the lay-in. Schaefer has five. Another assist for Isaac McCullough, who's done a nice job of passing here tonight. Here's Jackson driving and scoring. And DeSoto will use a 30-second timeout here. We're going to keep it right here. 62-49 Cyclones. Final score from Paola and boys play 41-35. Panthers beat Spring Hill tonight. We never got a girls final. Panthers were up early, 16-3, but never saw anything more than that. In the boys final we have Osawatomie beat Anderson County 50-33.
Ottawa will inbound after the made basket. Schaefer will get it into McCullough. Swings it ahead to Bay. Bay to Deal. Layup by Cooper is good. Cooper Deal with four. 22 seconds to go. Cyclones by 15. There's a long three by Bell. Missing. Rebound McCullough. And he will dribble in backcourt. Across the 10-second line. DeSoto will back out. And that's going to be your final. Ottawa wins it here tonight by the final score of 64 to 49. And we're back after this two-minute break. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Dear pesky blackheads, you disgust me. You're ugly, dirty, and just plain nasty. Enough is enough. Meet my Biore Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strip. This drip with natural charcoal will pluck you out. Oil too. Sayonara, blackheads. See ya on the Biore strip side. Sincerely, finally clean pores. Love charcoal? Also try Biore baking soda cleansing scrub for an exfoliating deep clean. Biore, free your pores. It's Macy's One Day Sale, Saturday, with a preview day Friday, with our lowest prices of the season, and amazing deals of the day store-wide, like Charter Club Cashmere Sweater, now only $39.99, take an extra 40% off, clearance designer handbag, save $100 on a Samsung Gear S2 Classic smartwatch, plus get a free strap, clearance dress shirts and ties, 75% off, and save 70% on all Martha Stewart flannel bed sheet sets, and throw, earn plenty points during Macy's One Day Sale, plenty, lots of points, lots of places, one rewards program, savings off regular sale and clearance prices, exclusions apply. Burger King presents Breakfast Stories. Today's story, Big Jim and three pancakes for 89 cents. I don't care what you call them, pancakes, flipjacks, flap cakes. The point is, at Burger King, you can get a stack of three of them for 89 cents. What kind of deal is this? Uh, a great one? Fill up on three golden pancakes for 89 cents. This is not breakfast. This is a Burger King breakfast. Get three pancakes for 89 cents only at Burger King. Limited time only. Price and participation vary. At Twinings of London, we have black, green, and herbal teas that are perfect for any mood. There's jasmine green if you're feeling rushed. Lemon and ginger if you're worn down. Or berry fusion if you're feeling wild. No matter what flavor you pick, it's crafted with 300 years of expertise for the perfect balance of taste, flavor, and aroma. You have to like the sound of that. Twinings of London. Teas that fit your every mood. Ottawa boys pick up the win tonight, 64-49 to over DeSoto. Alex Wilcox kept the Wildcats in the basketball game in the first period as he scored 13 of DeSoto's 15 points, including a three-pointer right before the buzzer to tie the ball game at 15. But then the Cyclones took the lead for good early second period. They ran out to a 17-3 run to start the period and led at halftime 37-22. Soto chipped into that lead, got it down to single digits a couple times in the fourth period, but Ottawa had just enough to hold off the Wildcats here this evening. They moved their record to 3-1 and one on the season while the Soto falls to 2-3 and three overall. Wildcats were led by Alex Wilcox. He finished with 20 after having 13 at the end of one. Nine points for Brandon Bell on three three-pointers. Xavier Jackson and Levi Hansen both off the bench at six. Jared Baruth finished with four. Two points apiece for Ethan Thurlow and Grant Knoll. Ottawa was led by Isaac McCullough. He finished with 17, had 15 at the half. Perry Carroll had 14, all of those in the first half. So McCullough and I and uh, Carroll combined for just two points after halftime. But other people stepped up to pick up the scoring void. Drew Bones had eight tonight. Devion Bife had seven. Four points for Chris Johnson. Four points for Cooper Deal. Caleb Schaefer actually had five. And then two for Bryce Wiggins and Ethan Rowe. One point for Kobe Johnson. Cyclones are back in action on Monday night. The opponent will be the Lewisburg Wildcats, the game at home. The, ga- the girls will start at around 6 o'clock. The guys at 7.30. And we'll have our Wise Guys Construction pregame show about 10 minutes prior to the start of the girls' play. In here tonight, the Ottawa girls falling 58-35. The boys picking up a 64-49 to win. And this is Gary Bateman saying so long from DeSoto High School.
We hope you enjoyed this broadcast of Ottawa Cyclone Basketball on 103.7 FM, 1220, and KOFO.com. Brought to you by Modern Woodman Agent Dale Pearson, Dale Family Dentistry, Kansas State Bank, Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling, Ottawa Recreation Commission, and by State Farm Insurance Agent Keith King, Ransom Memorial Hospital, Sutton's Jewelry, Franklin County Chiropractic, Car Star, Messengers Home Furnishings. Also by Dingle and Sun Mortuary, The Ottawa Herald, Wise Guys Construction, People's Bank. Ottawa Cyclone Basketball is also being brought to you by Ryan Dispro State Farm Insurance, Kramer Pharmacy, Ottawa Chiropractic, Performance Electric, Bones Transportation, and by Lamb Roberts Funeral Home, Dale's Body Shop, The City of Ottawa, Costantino's Price Chopper, Maxwell Chiropractic, Quality Structures Incorporated, and Great Life Golf and Fitness. Advantage